Hey guys, look what I found. Um, I don't usually buy these um, big like mega boxes from Target, but after doing the math and the cards that were coming in the blaster boxes and the hanger boxes, I was like, you know what, why not? Because I was gonna buy two blaster boxes at 20 bucks a piece and this was 39 and I really didn't want the coin cards that came in them. So I thought, why not just get the mega box? Um, it does have I think it said like 176 cards in it. Let's see, is it right here? 16, 256 cards. So I'm assuming that I'm gonna get some of the um, insert subset cards um, in here, but I'll get at least probably 200 cards to the set and not have to deal with the doubles. So I'll go this route and we'll see what I get. Um, I don't know. They, they call these mega boxes? I don't know. There's odds on these. Uh, this is 2020 Tops Update if you can't read the box. If you want to pause the camera, that is the odds right there of anything in here. Um, I don't know if you have better luck with these than you do a blaster box when it comes to autographs. I don't really hunt those. I just build the set and shoot videos for you guys on here. So, with all that talking done, let's open this up and see what's inside so we got 16 packs 16 cards per pack 256 cards there's what's in this box uh only at target so i'm assuming there's some exclusive cards look at all those oh my god we're gonna be at this for a while um i'm assuming there's nothing like the sepia cards or anything like that like you saw in chrome i don't know what else comes in these um but these are all gonna be retail packs and we got a bunch of them so let's move these up out of the way and let's start with pack number one. This is my first look at this product. It will probably be my only look at this product. I will probably go with the um, getting the Gresh oven through doubles. I did hear that the correlation on these is all over the place, upside down, every which way. Uh, I don't know what the short prints are. I'm gonna just gonna be looking for cards that don't have that pose or kind of a candid look, and then uh, taking a look at those. I know in the past, you used to be able to get um, cards that were upside down and backwards to be like an insert. So we'll see what it is. I'm just gonna flip through them. Uh, probably looking for Robert. I'm sure he's in here. Make sure that wasn't him that just went by. So if you guys see anything in here, please, I'm gonna slide over here so I can see him in the camera. Um, please let me know. Um, I will be pulling a set together on these. Dixon. I didn't seem to see this guy play this year. So he must still be down in Toledo. See the catcher? First base outfield. I don't recall him. Maybe he took over for the guy that served. So we got the 85 cards again. So uh, Eddie Murray. Um, all right, I like those looks. The Turkey Red is making an appearance back in here again. Vizio. I guess my guy Verlander has a card in here. I wasn't sure if he was going to have one with him going out on Tommy John series uh, surgery, but they did put him in there. So that has an all-star card in there. Didn't see anything unique or out of the way on that. Did notice that all those uh, landscape type cards are all together as in they've been in the past. Because pack number two. Oh, that card looks kind of interesting. All right. Let's flip them sideways. See anything in there, guys? I see the turkey red card in there. That's about it. Here comes the second set. Again, I'm sliding over. I've got a bar on this camera. It rides right in the middle. And I kind of want to see the names as they come through. None of them have the, um, the uh, COVID mask. On them. Oh, look at this. We got numbered to 50, guys. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We got a Tyler. Is it Hammond? Numbered card. It's got a different border on it. Again, it is numbered to uh, 50. So it is card 12 of 50. So I'll have to uh, see what that's about. I don't know. Got an 89 tops looking card uh nolan jones uh number one prospect like it's not it's, it's not number one draft pick anymore so there's what the back of that card looks like that's some subset card i'll have to do some research on those too acuna 
These are insert cards, I believe, from, I don't know if it's exclusive to Target or, um, or just these, uh, this series. Another Turkey Red, Gary Carter. Happy to have him. Gavin Lux, this was the last card I needed for the uh, Series 2. There's Pooh Holtz. Wheeler. Got some, uh, is it Alvarez? And I'm not sure who the other guy is there. I'm sure I could figure it out, but. And McCutcheon, too bad that wasn't the one from Series 2 that everybody was chasing. Man, that card in Series 2, his um, short print or super, super short print. Man, it was hot there for a hot second, and then the price dropped on it. Um, I'm telling you guys, you guys get inserts in here that are hot. I'd always consider moving them away as quickly as you can. So here comes the next set. That's like maybe two turkey reds in that? Huh. We'll see. All right, so Mr. Kimball. Mercer. This one's upside down all around. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about when I say candid photos. He's not playing the game of baseball. So if you look on the back of this card, right at the bottom, focus. It ends in, what is it, 588 or something like that? I can't quite read that myself. But if I flip this one over, let's see if this one has the same number. Because if it doesn't, it's probably a short print. This is 588. So, but that, that's the thing. This is kind of what you're looking for. I will have to check that card out a little closer and make sure that's not a standard base card. But sometimes those short prints are just those posed photos like you'd see in a heritage card or it'll be like a candid photo where he's just not uh, really playing the game, but he's not um, posing too. So, and that card was backwards. So that was another reason why I looked at it. I'm happy to have that card right there. Show go. He was, uh, during the Tiger Series, he was tearing it up. And they just brought him up. So, we have Kluber. Turkey Red. We have Allen. Okay, Alonzo. Still used to seeing him with the rookie. Chris Bryant. And Newberry. I don't know what the Robert Carding looks like, guys. I, I have... Been kind of frustrated with with buying baseball cards lately because these guys have been running around buying all the product. But I did follow kind of uh, some of the sales on um, marketplace to see if they were actually selling, and I noticed a lot of price drops were happening, so I could tell that they are getting stuck with them. So hopefully that'll slow them down a little bit. Probably not though. If another hot product comes out, it's like I never saw it was. Like, did they have Chrome Update come out? Because I hadn't seen that, but I know the Chrome was crazy. There's a good rookie to have right there. Alvarez. The El Tuve in an all-star game card. I got to see like I get El Tuve everything. For a while it was Lindor that I would get all the time. There's a Mark McGuire card. Home run derby. Let's check that number. It's 588, so it's a standard base card. Huh. I'm going to put that up there with that other one. I just want to make sure. Usually when you see the former players, that's some kind of short print. So we got a Sandy Koufax uh, subset card in here. A numbers game, Sandy Koufax. Nice card there. He was tearing it up this year, too. I'm not going to even say the name, guys. If I heard it, I'd be able to pronounce it, but... Okay, so there's a different Pujols card. I don't know if one was just a regular card. Okay, that's an all-star game card, so... Maybe that's why. I was going to say, I already saw a Pujols card come through here. Maybe it wasn't a base card. Maybe it was one of the parallels. I don't remember. Joey Photo. And Ortiz. Very last card. I'm going to check that number as well. 588. So, it's that's a base card as well. Okay, go on the next pack. Was that pack three? Man, this is gonna take a little bit, guys. I might do a recap, I, I, I don't know. Sometimes I do, I'll pause the video at the end and do a recap, and uh, this one has something a little thicker in there on the card stock, so maybe we got something here. I don't know, like I said, I don't hunt autographs, but it's always kind of fun when you get one. There's Judge. 
That looks like a <laughs> that card looks like one from a prior year. I think he had an update card in prior year and also game like that. P. Alonzo again. Sure hope I'm not getting doubles. That's a home run derby card, that's why. Tina's Sorry guys, I know I don't go through these that quick. Um, I am looking at him for the first time myself. Um, Cameron Mabern from Detroit. He got traded to the White Sox um, before the season was over. It's good to see him back. Nice uh, turkey red chrome card. I'll leave that up top. Walker, turkey red. There's Granky. He did all right this year. Clayton Kershaw. Malco and Middleton. All right, next pack. That was a little faster. I, I, I can talk a little bit when I'm going through these and not naming the names. It's not so boring. I figure you guys can read them as well. Most of you just want to see what I get in a box. It's a whole lot of packs, though. Oops, sorry. I thought that was going to be a landscape card there. Another Kuna card there. Put that up there, and we've got uh, Rendon from the Astro or from the Angels. Turkey red. I'll probably move all those turkey red cards. I find that um, in the trading, there's trout in the trading uh, cards on the Facebook uh, group page that I'm in. They they really like those turkey red cards, so I'm able to get several cards for sets for those. So it's always good because you guys know I don't collect those. This is Buck Farmer right there. And Suarez. All right. Looks like I've got seventy packs left. Ooh, this one feels kind of juicy. Maybe they have those coin cards in here, but it didn't feel it heavy. And I didn't see anything special on that one. Um, I didn't see anything that looked like a an insert or anything. So maybe that numbered card was our small hit for these boxes. I don't know. And honestly, I didn't look at the odds. I never really do. That's why I just pause them. Right? I just put them up there for you guys if you guys want to see them. Taylor. Okay, we've got one Marte. My luck is I'm not going to get the one guy I want to get. Okay, so here's another one. Let's look at this one. He's not playing the game. 588, so they just did a pose. Maybe that's what they did in this, uh, because they were hard to get guys with all the masks and all that stuff. Those can't do the candid, so. Um, Dwight Gooden, 80's best. I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put this card up too, and research it and make sure it's not a variation or something. Usually variations have different numbers. I already mentioned it, mentioned, mentioned several times, so. Turkey Red, Sale, Jump on Six. Okay, it must be a team card. There's the Verlander card I was talking to you about. I, I've seen a different photo variation, I think, of this too. So, wouldn't mind having that photo variation for my uh, PC of Verlander. So, a lot of chatter in Detroit about him because by the time he comes back from Tommy John series, he won't be under contract. And with the recent signing of the new manager up there, uh, I think there might be some talk. So, could see him back in a Detroit uni before it's over. And I know. Tiger fans would really like to see him go out with Detroit. So um, I would like to see him take the role that Kenny Rogers did in 2006 and kind of be that veteran pitcher for all these young arms that are coming up. It's kind of nice to have somebody that's there in the trenches with you rather than calling shots from the bench all the time. So, all right, Michael Fulmer. It's Bo Bichette, rookie. Take it. Bregman was the other Astro on that in that other card that had Alvarez in it. Okay, so again, we have a pose card, so I am gonna check it, let's see. It is not short print, it's 588, same as the base. I will put it up there, all those pose cards I'm gonna check out. Stanton there, Quino, happy to have that rookie out of the way. Here's another one of those 89 uh, prospect cards. Mount Castle. 
Man, I collected 89 tops so heavy that year that those cards came out. I probably opened three or four wax boxes back then as a kid. That was a lot because, I mean, you didn't have a lot of money to do that. But, man, that was like the heyday of collecting for me. 89 tops. I think I have four or five sets down there. And uh, and then I think I have some others that... Um, it's King Griffey Jr. I have some others that are missing like a card or two to be incomplete. It's still a base card. Scherzer. Didn't hear much from Max this year. Um, I know I know he's in the playoffs there towards the end. All right. CJ Crone is going to be a lead off on this one. I'll look at the side just to make sure there's nothing in there. So it does look like there's the typical. All right, Burns rookie there. Nunez, another Griffey. It's a second Griffey, so here's the other one. So are they really hurting for cards that they had to put two Griffey cards in here? Let's check it out. 588, just like the other one, 588. See them both down there, right, right down here? They're both 588, so they're standard base. I'll just put those in the base pile. I'm not even going to look that up. Well, they're Pujols, so I wasn't joking when I saw that. So that looks like the third different Pujols card I've seen. Man, there better not be doubles coming out of the same box. That is not going to make me happy. Frank Schwindel, I do not recall him either. So maybe he played one game. I don't know. It says 96, but I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe they're pulling other players. David Wright, 85. Happy to have that. And the turkey red card is going to be Mr. Dave Winfield. We've got Cotton, Holt, Cologne. Guy's still throwing. Did he play for Detroit at one time? I can't remember. Seems like he played in Detroit when I was there. Okay. This pack also feels kind of thick. It's like it's busting at the seams and uh, might be for a good reason here this side of that one looks all the same huh it's kind of thick I do have some see that bow it's usually a card that's inserted backwards I'll probably be wrong but Gerard Dyson there's a different Berlander there too um so I better be paying closer attention to these um, hey, hey I'll have to check that other Verlander so well, let's get let's get these going I want to see what's in the middle of this pack so that is a Nolan Ryan turkey red chrome there it is right there guys it is the number card it's probably going to be a parallel or subset card Todd Frazier must be the gold bordered because uh, is it numbered to 2020 I didn't even look yeah it is it's just a gold bordered card nothing really jamming special there another Kuna card I have a buddy that collects a Kuna if you're watching this you know who you are let me know these are going your way Bryce Harper Matt Davidson gonna check it 88 doesn't count. It's a base card. I'm pretty sure those are all going to be base now. I guess I probably should have studied this a little bit before I open a box. I made myself sound like a fool with all these prospect, probable short prints. But I haven't seen one come through. But I have only seen like one numbered card come through too. Box two. One low number, one to 50. And we'll see. Okay. Leading off is Mike Trout. Is it card number one? It usually is, it seems like. Nope. He didn't make card one this year. Reyes. Bruh. Still no Robert. We've got like five packs left. And this the rest of this one. I suppose he's gonna be like Otani and elude me. Another Miggy card. Sandy Koufax. That's weird as you get all star okay. That explains why the All Star cards here, because it wasn't an All Star card. There wasn't All Star games. So they're doing throwbacks. That's what they're doing. 
So that's why we're seeing that. So I got turkey red card of Santo. Battery bath. It's kind of a cool card. I like that. Next, got a home run derby card. Yeah, so these are all former home run derbies. And this is another Miggy card from an all star game. And a Derek Jeter card from the all star game. It's a pretty tough looking card. I doubt that's a short print being on the back of the pack. Yeah, so. Throwing some curveballs at us again this year because obviously we had no all-star game due to COVID. Stupid COVID. Needs to go away like soon. Here's the side if you guys want to see it. Ooh. Let me straighten those up a little bit better. Yeah, looks like turkey red. That's all we're going to get. Maybe I'll be wrong. Let's see if I can speed this up a little bit, guys. And I say that, and then the cards start flipping around backwards on me. Come on, Robert. Where are you? Is there one in this set? If I don't get it, let me know in the comments. Evan White, 89. We did get a Robert in Turkey Red. That card will not be going away. That's going to stay with me. That's going to get penny sleeves as soon as I'm done. Ichiro. There's Lindor. Another Griffey. Cesar Hernandez, shower time, whatever. Um, maybe the short prints uh, or the player variation cards are going to be like your Ty Cobbs, your Hank Aarons, and stuff like that. I'm assuming that's what it is. And I'm surprised K Line is not in here again. They were really pumping out the K Line uh, autograph cards there um, going into this year. So I'm surprised they didn't try to plug some more in here. I know he passed recently. Maybe that's reason why they didn't have any more cards signed in this. Tino Martinez. Tim Raines. That's kind of cool throwback because you know he played back then. In the 85 is what I'm referring to. John Smoltz. There's another Verlander. So this bothers me because I think I'm getting doubles out of the same stinking box. Uh, short print. I know this is a third Berlander FC. Excuse me. Kershaw again. Posey. Chapman. And Stanton. Man, I sure hope there's not doubles in here, guys. That's going to be disappointing if there is. I could see maybe getting 30, 40 subset cards, but getting doubles out of the same box. Come on, man. Shuffle them up, tops. I don't recognize the card, but that one Verlander, I, I, I'm not doubting it now. Let's see what else we can get. I need the Robert Base. Come on, there's another Miggy card. There, Kuna. We've got a Murray. Eddie Murray, that is. For those of you that don't know, the players from the 80s. Got two packs left. And then I'll, I'll do a recap after this. So, maybe we'll strike something cool on these. I do need to get a Robert out of these. I do not want to have to hunt him down. Because everybody thinks he's like the golden thing right now. Maybe that's changed since I've been collecting. I've kind of got burnt out with everybody buying all the stuff out of the shop. So, Alex Verdugo. We'll say somebody did trade me one of the 85 Roberts uh, just straight up for some cards. Um, so maybe maybe Robert isn't pulling, pulling it as much as he was. I don't know. Yankees 70s. I never did get that one with Pete Rose on it. Is that Kirby? Nope, it's Buxton. All I saw was a Twins player, guys. Lewis, Davis, DeGrom, Alonzo, and I'm not sure who the other guy is. Polar Bears and Squirrel. Jeff McNeil. Sorry guys, I don't follow the Mets at all. I, I know Pete Alonzo is there. Granderson was there. Um, Cespedes was there for a while. I don't know if he's still there. 
And Bert Granderson retired. Didn't he retire? I would not surprise to see him be a commentator somewhere. He's actually a pretty good guy. All right. So, doesn't look like we're going to hit anything major. Got him on Robert. If you can get past the Phillies here, we'll be in business. Angels. Did not see any short prints come through here, but I will go back through them as I collate them. There's a foil card. I don't know if we got any other foil cards in here. Are these numbered too? No, they're not. I don't like foil cards, guys. It's just a parallel card that just, you know, Castellan, Castellan, I can't say his name. Aaron Judge, an all-star game. Mr. Cal Ripken. Cal Wright. I'm pretty sure we got that card already. And the last card is Max Scherzer. Guys, give me a minute. I'll lay these out and uh, put them in collation. We'll kind of see if I did get doubles. And then I'll tag that on the back of this video. Be right back. Okay, guys. Got back. Got them all sorted. There is the cards for the set. There were no duplicates in there. The box had 256 cards in it. There were 36 like insert subset cards, so that means I have 220 of the 300 cards in here, so I'm missing 80 cards, so a little over 60%, 70%, so anyways. This is what you'll find in there. Um, there was a lot of these turkey reds. It looks like there's about one per pack, so there were 16 of these. Here's the Winfield up here, and then uh, Robert was right here. Did get this Kofax subset card, along with a foil card. I don't really like those, as I mentioned in the video. I don't, I'm not really big on those foil cards at all. Might as well just make them chrome like you did these turkey reds down here if you're gonna do that. Um, two numbered cards, the Fraser card was numbered to 220 or 2020. It's a gold uh, parallel. And then the Tyler Henneman is numbered to 50. Uh, it's card number 12 of 50. I'm glad I have a rookie on that one. Um, Kuna cards, these are only available in the Target packaging, according to this right here. You see, you look for exclusive run all the Kuna cards. That is these. These are going to be spoken for already. I got a guy locally that uh, PCs him, so I'll trade him out these cards and say he always finds cool stuff for me. So, these are kind of neat to have in there the 89 looking prospect cards uh, in like, uh, looks like AAA uniforms. So,. I'm assuming, not sure, <laughs> but um, 85s, not bad there. Three, uh, two players from the 80s. Dave Wright wasn't he in the 90s, I believe, and then uh, Shogo. You know, he's he's brand new this year, so happy to have that card. I'll be keeping that one, as well as this one from the slot. And then these always kind of bore me. Uh, another uh, subset, these decades best. So, I will say, um, my overall opinion of this set is it's kind of lacking. I know with the pandemic that it's impacted uh, their ability to do all-star cards. That's why they threw those all-star cards in there in the home run derby cards because they weren't available for this year because it didn't happen. Um, I still think that maybe they could have done some more variations of some of the star prospects um, in, the, in the set just so uh, they could have... I just think they could have done a little bit better to beef up this set. When I think of Topps Update, I think of all the changes that happened throughout the year and maybe some of the new prospects that are coming in. Putting a rookie and a Boba Bichette in an update set to me is kind of silly because for me, his rookie should have been either opening day or series one. I don't, I don't, I really agree with this Topps. Not that you care, but anyways, guys. That is this product, 2020 Topps Baseball Update Series. That is Mahal. Didn't get anything stellar, no short prints. I'll see you guys, bye.